after reading the title, you probably know what this video is about, right? Diffusion filters. Or maybe the fact that you, me, don't need them anymore. So I was given a plugin called Digidiff by Jake Bain, a cinematographer from the US. Digidiff is a plugin for DaVinci Resolve that emulates real brand uh, of diffusion filters. So technically speaking, you can shoot without a diffusion filter and still get the misty, uh, glowy kind of effect that you want. Let me show you some examples. Uh, let me show you like how the Digidiff works with the presets. So, so if you go over and put Digidiff on one of your nodes, I usually put it before the exposure so it looks like it's baked in into the camera as opposed to like putting it at the last node. As you put in Digidiff, you can choose what camera and picture profile you, sh you shot at. So usually I'm at F-Log2. And as you click onto the presets, you can see how many like options you have for a different kind of uh, brands. You have Glimmer Glass, Black Mist, um, Black Satan, uh, Perlicent, Soft Effects. You have different kinds of options to choose from. I usually go for Black Mist and just tweak it. I like Black Mist because it softens the skin as well, as well as blooming highlights. But when it's too much, I just lower the strength and lower the size. And if I want something a bit more subtle, I go for either Glimmer Glass or Black Satan. And just the amount of options I have just from the presets, I think, is is, is really good. So that's a that's a big pro for me. And then on the second example, I think this is the whole shtick with Digidiff because there's a couple of plugins that emulates diffusion filters. But like, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think there is any that lets you customize the diffusion uh, that, that you can achieve with the plugin. So basically, there's there's there are two options. You can start from scratch and you can start from a preset and head on to custom and fully customize the look that you want. So basically with diffusion, there are three um, components to it. So you have the core, the body, and the fall off. The core is usually at the hot spot of the light. So that's where the um, the source of the light is. That's where the brightest part of the image is. And Usually with this, uh, I like to keep it tight to the source the source of light so it looks uh, realistic. And then for the body, that will be the main glow. So this will be up to your preference, like whether you like it to be more spread out or tight. The fall off is for making the transition smooth from the glow to the real image. And for the final example, you can use power windows to specify and isolate the effect of Digidiff. So for example, you want, maybe you want the effect to just be on the skin and you want this to soften the skin. On the Digidiff node, you can add a mask and here you can, you can put it on the skin, you know, track it and then yeah, you got, you can isolate the amount or maybe if you want it on the window, so uh, you can add the glow to specifically there and yeah. There you go. It's completely customizable in whatever you like. And I, that's what I really love about Digidiff. Now, why would you want to emulate Diffusion instead of just buying the filter yourself and putting it in front of your lens? Well, there's a couple of reasons, especially for low budget indie filmmakers like me. Number one, diffusion filters are expensive. And the more lenses you have, the more variety of like how big the, the lens filter thing is the more filters you're going to have to buy or you're going to have to buy step up rings. And if you're like me, I hate using step up rings. So if you buy Digidiff, it's just, I don't know, like $120, I think. And it's not subscription based. There's two license codes, so you can theoretically give it to a friend. You can have it. So it's just like around $60 each. In that amount of money, you have so many presets of diffusion filters and Plus, you can create your own. So I feel like it's such a steal, especially for someone like me that's like in a third world country that can only afford one diffusion filter. Like I only have one right now and it's from KNF, the, the cheapest one I can find. Second reason, um, the flexibility it offers. Like if you shoot without a diffusion filter on set, you can always add it in post. But if you shot uh, with with it and maybe the client wants you to, to remove it, you can. Yeah, that flexibility, I think, is such a good value for me uh, as a solo operator for low budget projects. If I was going to give a con, right, it slows down my PC quite a bit. Like I, I have a pretty strong PC. I have an RTX 3060 Ti. I have a i7 12th gen. Uh, I have 32 GB RAM. 
and it's on SSD, but when there's a lot of footage with Digidev, it kind of slows down my PC. So maybe if you're gonna improve it in the future, maybe like the optimization of it, I don't know if that's possible, but that would make the product basically perfect. Um, I love the product. I'm probably using it um, forever now. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jake, for like giving this this plugin for me to to make a video about and, and review. So my pros about Digidiff is that it's fully customizable, it's really affordable, there are a lot of presets, and it's compatible with different kinds of cameras. My only con is that it slows down my computer. You can check out Digidiff in the description below, and you can also check out QuickFilm, which everything is colored on for this video. So thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe. Peace out.